Alright, hey there Proxies, this is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke, and if you guys didn't miss out in the last one, we finally made it here over to Sandwood City, and now guys, we are going to be uh, meeting up with Suicune once again, and also battle out Iwazine, and also have enough time uh, to hopefully take care of Trucks, Gem, and get ourselves our next badge, which I would like to go ahead and do it uh, for this episode for today. Now, uh... Hopefully you guys are having yourself a good Saturday. You guys should be seeing a brand new series, which is going to be the Earthbound uh, uh, Let's Play that we are going to be doing uh, for this. And uh, it's just going to be a little bit of a teaser episode. It's not going to be like really like a continuous series right now because uh, we still have to do Majora's Mask and kind of finish off with that game right now. Because we're only just only maybe it's just maybe a few more episodes left and then we should be able to go ahead and uh, continue throughout uh, with Earthbound for the other time uh, being for that. Uh, so let's actually go into a little bit of a, a team summary and uh, see what everybody is about here. So we got Rapture level 25 with the Splash Blade with Surf, Ice Made by a Scary Face, Brandon level 18 with Growl Side, Wish Out Ball and Astonish, Grand level 28 with Curse Cut, Bite and Razor Leaf, Sean at level 22 with Headbutt, Cause Force, Thunderstruck, and T Wave. We also have Nimbus at level 18 with Peck Sing, a Safeguard, and Roost. And we also have Kenya at level 31 with Astonish, Pursuit, Swagger, and Wing Attack. So that's basically everybody on the team. And uh, let's go and talk on over to Suicune. So let's see what we got. So hey, Suicune, how you doing, man? So off he goes, running away to a different place, which I think he actually heads on over to uh, somewhere uh, between Mahogany Town. So I uh, caught up to a quick glitch, but I thought that I saw Suicune running on the waves. Suicune is a beautiful grand, and it reaches through towns and roads and simply awesome speeds. It's wonderful. I don't want to see Suicune up close on the side of Bellia as a train to earn the Suicune's respect. So come on, Prox, let's go in battle. So let's do it. Let's do our first battle with Iwazine. Now, if you guys haven't checked up uh, the update uh, for my uh, uh, for my channel, uh, you guys should, uh, just so that you guys can just be aware about what's happening with the channel and everything that's going on for right now, because uh, because the brand new uh, uh, Let's Plays that I would like to do right after uh, Majora's Mask and also uh, Metroid Fusion is that I want to go and basically do... Um, uh, what's it, uh, Earthbound, and then also wanted to go ahead and do, uh, Kelowna as well on the PS1, so that's gonna be really awesome, so I can't wait till I do both of those two games after. Now, uh, for Pokemon-related type of stuff with Nuzlocke and everything, I'm not too entirely certain exactly what I'm gonna be doing after Pokemon Soul Silver, um, so we kinda have to hold off on that a little bit more. So we're just gonna stay on him, uh, here with Kenya, because we got a Shroomish out here, and we don't really have anything else to really help us out with this room mission. It kind of sucks. I really wish that I had like a Pokemon that can actually um, do like some sort of like fire damage or whatnot, but unfortunately we don't really have a Pokemon that that can do that for us. We also have a Tropius coming out. We'll just stay on in as well too. Tropius really shouldn't be all that too high of a Pokemon because like we, uh, because like really we have Wing Attack and it should probably do quite a bit of damage and hopefully get a critical. Wow, it actually brought it down just a little bit. Ooh, wow, now that was a critical stomp. That was a little bit terrifying right there. Now, hopefully, uh, over at this shop, uh, hopefully they do have some paralyzed heals, because I would like to pick some of those up. Quite a bit, actually. Nice, so level 32, perfect. And we destroyed the mystery man, Iwazin, and we get some nice good money for that as well. So you're amazing, Prox. I'm starting to understand why Suicune was keeping an eye on you. So I'm going to keep searching for Suicune, and I have a feeling that we'll be seeing each other again real soon. So let's us go and pick up some uh, some items around in the rocks, and maybe we could probably find ourselves a static encounter rock uh, rock Pokemon that we can uh, find here with our Rock Smash. So I'm just going to go and get quickly healed up, and then we'll uh, bring out Trapins for a little bit. But I'm not going to like uh, change out the layout or anything like that. So. Uh, Trapinch is not going to be really a part of our team, unless if, uh, if let's say for if, for example, if Nimbus went down or something, then uh, then we would have to uh, bring out our Trapinch instead. But hopefully that doesn't cross over that bridge when that happens. But you can never know what happens throughout a randomizer. Okay, so let's go and switch out Nimbus here. Oh, and I also have some exciting news, is that I actually bought myself a brand new, new, uh, Nintendo 3DS, like, the actual, like, uh, new one, uh, that has, like, the, the C-Stick kind of, uh, thing that, that's on the, uh, side of the, of the 3DS XL, which I'm pretty happy about that. 
And uh, let's go and see if we can find any uh, max ethers and whatnot. I think there is max ethers here if you try, try to break any type of rocks. So if you're lucky enough, you can find some pretty nice good items. Alright, come on, man. If we don't get ourselves an encounter, then uh, I guess we'll come back to this later or something. Ooh, we got something good, and it was a green shard. Hey, I don't mind picking up a green shard. Now, normally uh, in here you can find like heart scales and other things as well too, because if you're really lucky, you can actually uh, use those uh, towards uh, getting a mammoth swine or a licky licky. Which unfortunately we don't really have any of those right now, but but if we ever do find a heart scale, that would be nice. Now oh, here we go. Our counter is going to be for our Rock Smash Pokemon it is going to be a Slacking. Uh, I don't really need that Pokemon though. Not a big fan of Slacking, so I'm just going to run. Really? There. Now we can escape. But we got ourselves only one more Rock Smash to do, and let's see what we get. And we got ourselves a Max Ether in the Rubble. Nice. Alright, that's actually uh, a really nice good item to have. And I may probably come back uh, to CM Wood and uh, probably pick up some more Max Ethers like that if uh, if we ever uh, decide to uh, head on over to the Elite Four uh, sometime later on throughout this uh, Nuzlocke series. So the only one thing that we can only do right now is head on over to Chuck's place. And I'm not going to do that just yet because I want to make sure that I uh, buy out some Paralyzed Heals if this guy has anything. Got full heals. You know what? I wouldn't mind taking those because we do need a lot. And I mean a lot of those. Thank you. Uh, hyper potions. Now that's actually something pretty interesting to actually go up and grab as well too. But I guess we'll pick up a few of these. We got five. I think we should be good with that. Nice. Alright. So I'm pretty happy with, uh, with all of that right now. Okay, so we got full heals. We're set. I think I'm ready. Okay, and let us go and take care of our first type of trainer out here. So we got this guy. Let's see what you got, my good sir. So my Pokemon are bound together by friendship. Our bond will never be broken. Let's see what type of Pokemon that you got. Now, I know that uh, uh, during our uh, previous gym, uh, while bowing out... Um, Morty, uh, we had to fight a god dang Wobbuffet. Hopefully that time that doesn't happen around. That was just way too crazy. Alright, so Skarmory's gonna be set up for agilities. Not all that too worried about it. Because, like, I'm pretty sure Skarmory doesn't really have the best of moves right now during this type of time. Because, like, I think he has, like, Fury Attack, he has, like, Spikes, and I think he also has Razor Wind, so... Not the greatest of moves right now during his leveling. So, send up more agilities. Get out of here, dude. Is that what all you're going to be literally doing out here, Skarmory? You're just going to make this battle really easy for me. I'm just hoping that, like, Chuck is not going to have, like, anything that's going to be... Oh, so he actually has Air Cutter. Okay. So not too bad of a move, but it doesn't really do that much. But there we go. That is a good level up for us right there. Get us right up to level 23. We'll take that. Awesome. Okay, so we defeated Black Belt Yoshi, and we can now go and head on over to our next uh, type of karate guy that's here. So let's see what you got, dude. My chair's a little bit squeaky. I don't know if you guys should hear that in the background, but like... I don't know why, but it's like I, I, I tied up the screws like 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 very much like on my uh, gaming chair and like for some reason it's like it's like still on that right side. It still makes like that squeaky sound and I don't know why it does that. Maybe I just won't uh, put my arm there on the, uh, on that spot. I think I'm just going to just put it here on the uh, on, on the um, left side. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go and stop front wing attack. There we go, and Lady Butt is down. And we also got some Starly, which I don't really mind about that all that too much, because we got Sean out here for the job. 
I'm not gonna try and really worry about all the trainers that, that's gonna be in this place because I'm just gonna kind of just worry about the trainers that I have to actually knock out first. Endeavor. A little bit of a scary move there. But, ha, nice. You actually got paralyzed. Thank you for that. Okay, that should go and almost knock you out right there. And I guess we'll just land up my headbutt. There we go. And Starly is down, so thanks, man. Thank you for all that EXP that you can give me. There we go, and Black Belt Knob is gone. Now, I remember in the uh, in the original game of Gold and Silver, I'm pretty certain I think like Chuck like throws like a boulder or something to like uh, prove uh, prove how much uh, strong that he is. But instead, uh, we actually have like a waterfall instead that we have to like turn off. Okay, we got ourselves a Raticate. Uh, I'm a little bit terrified because this thing may probably have Hyper Fang to start things off, but not too entirely certain. So you're just going to keep us set up for scary faces, aren't you? Okay then, if that's where you want to go, but you're still going to get knocked out either way. Oh my goodness. It's just going to be a scary face showdown. Whoa, okay. That was a little bit strange with the, with the glitch there, but it's all good. Alright, come on. Let's head off with that one more wing attack to the face. And there we go. Radicate is down, so we'll take that. Okay, so Black Belt Leo is out of here as well. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is just do one more quick little heal, and we'll make uh, make our way right back uh, to this place. So just hold on for that one second there. I just want to make sure that our team is perfectly healed for this fight, and we don't have to really worry about anything else. And I think what I want to do is actually probably put Kenya up in front first. Because, like, I just have a funny suspicion that I don't think any of my Pokemon are not going to do the best of job when it comes here with Chuck. Because I have a funny suspicion that I think Chuck may probably have a really scary Pokemon on, on his team. And just want to make sure to just knock him out as quickly as possible. So let's just go switch out with Kenya. There we go. Take care of that. And I think we should be good. So, uh, let us go around here, come right into this place, let's go turn off that water. So head up from there, Oh man, really, the dude's just blocking my way. It kind of sucks that unfortunately like, they can't just stay in that one position, and then they just get like moved back, they have to like try and figure out a different way to get around. There we go, so we'll turn off the, the waterfall there. And I think we should be set. I think I'm ready. Alright, so, oof. The pounding waterfall right onto my head. Ah, why did you stop the waterfall from pouring on me? You just spoiled my training. I have to warn you that I am a strong trainer and every day under uh, under this waterfall. What? That's nothing to do with Pokemon. Ah, oh, that's true. Ah, uh, come on, then we shall do a battle. Alright, here we go. Fifth badge. Let's see if we can do this as quickly as possible. So he's got himself two Pokemon out here. And then starting off with his Viper, which that's a little bit scary, but I think we should be alright. So let's start for that wing attack, see how much damage that can do. Not too bad. You're gonna be set up for a glare. Which we actually do have some full heals, because I actually did come prepared this time. Thank god. Because I knew that that was going to become somewhat of a situation where we may probably get paralyzed a bunch of million about, yeah, about a million times out here. So not too bad of damage. So with that wing attack, and you are out of here. Thank you. Okay, we'll take that in the bag right there. Got a nice good boost of EXP as well too. Nice, level 33. Easy. All right, now Abyss Snow is actually gonna be coming out, and I think what I'm gonna... Oh no! Oh. Well, I think I know an idea. I'm gonna swagger. I totally forgot about changing up into Nimbus, and uh, 
that was one problem that I totally forgot about. But I think we should still be fine, because if I just start for Swagger, hopefully we can make uh, Abbas no confused and get himself a little bit hurt out here. Alright, come on, just hurt yourself, please. Yes, alright. That's actually somewhat pretty nice. Now, I think I'm going to probably risk it and set up for a wing attack and hopefully knock him out. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, he was so close to getting knocked out. Oh, man. All right, come on. Please hurt yourself again. Yes, but unfortunately, he doesn't go down at all. I think this time around, I'm pretty certain that I think I can just set up for two wing attacks, and I think Avasnow can go down here very quickly. Alright, setting up a hyper. Come on, can you get a critical wing attack, please? Wow, that was super effective. Alright, so we can do this one more time, then we don't have to worry about any deaths at all, dude. Come on, Kenya. Oh, you son of a... Come on, man. You're like Morty, dude. Setting up freaking potions out of everywhere. Come on. We were so close. We brought him down to the red. Alright, well, I think either way, I think this should probably work in our favor. Okay. We got it. Kenya, you are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. We got ourselves our next badge out here. No problem at all. Sweet. That's what I'm talking about. And we got ourselves our fifth badge already. It's all about status effects. If we ever see a, see a very crazy Pokemon coming out of somewhere, all we have to do is just kind of just hopefully paralyze or put it to sleep. And there we go, got ourselves the Storm Badge, and now we can actually use Fly to get around places, which that is super helpful. And we also get TM01, which, what is that about? It's Focus Punch, okay. Not bad. I don't think I don't really have a Pokemon that have uh, to do anything with Focus Punch, but uh, it's a good thing that we have it because if we ever do have like a, let's say like a Polyrath or something, I wouldn't mind um, putting that on it. Yay! So now we can fly anywhere, and I know exactly who I'm going to be putting that fly on to because I'm going to do that with Nimbus because unfortunately Nimbus doesn't really have like the best of uh, flying moves, so. Wing attack is actually pretty nice uh, with uh, is is, uh, is good with uh, Kenya, but oh right yeah. What am I doing? I don't even have like Nimbus on the team right now, but uh, I keep on forgetting about that because I have freaking Trap Bitch on the team. All right, hold on. Wow, man, I thought that Abus Snow was gonna probably at least like try to. Set up like with like an ice shard or something, dude. Because because like I know that uh, Abbas no normally gets a uh, ice shard, and I thought that was gonna do a lot of damage on Kenya, and I was really afraid about that. But it's a good thing that we had uh, that we had Swagger set up on it. All right, can we go and put up fly and set that up onto Nimbus, please? There we go. So we'll go and put the fly onto you. We'll remove off the peck because peck is just a horrible move even in this type of uh, like even in this type of uh, 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 section right now uh, peck is not all that too great and I think uh, Bayoba should be calling us here pretty soon right like I think we should be able to access the safari zone since we already just taking care of uh, doing Chuck's gym so do you know that they're constructing a safari zone just around the corner? This will uh, be really fun. Alright, so construction is still happening around this time, so we haven't really heard anything yet. Okay. So let's go and fly and get the heck on out of Sianwood. So I guess we could actually go and do two different gym badges out here because, uh... Because all we have to do right now is just go and take care of uh, Jasmine right away, but... I don't know. Should I just leave it for the next episode? I think that's what I may probably want to do. 
just so that I could just do a little bit more grinding with my, with our team for the time being. Because, like, Nimbus is still kind of low. Uh, Vern is also still kind of low on level as well, too. And we also have to try and uh, boost him up a little bit. I think Vern's almost about to, like, literally level up pretty soon. Like, almost at level 19, so... Well, let's just go ahead into the gym because, like, really, um, Jasmine doesn't really have, like, any type of trainers to actually go and fight with. Except for, like, just giving us, like, helpful hints and whatnot. So, yeah, oh, we have, uh, oh, right, yeah, that reminds us. We have to go all the way over to the lighthouse. That's what we'll do. So, we won't end off the episode right away, but what we'll, uh, do is head on over to the, uh, to the lighthouse. And then we'll, uh, get this gym all set up and ready to go. All right, Amphi, I have your medicine for you. I'm going to be headed up there pretty soon. Okay, here we go. Up the, up the elevator we go. So, uh, so basically the new uh, 3DS SSL that I got uh, is actually a Fire Emblem Fates Limited Edition one. And uh, I have to say, I really do like the design of it. I, I, I really do enjoy like the white and black type of feature that, that, that's around the uh, new 3DS SSL. It looks really nice. But the one thing that I'm really annoyed about uh, with the 3DS SSL, with the new 3DS SSL is that you basically have to unscrew the back part of, the, uh, of, uh, of that uh, 3DS SSL. To literally put in a uh, um, an SD card like in the back of it, because normally, because because with the original uh, 3DS XL, uh, you were just able to just have an SD card and just slide it into the into like the left side of your uh, of your 3DS. But now you actually have to have a very small, very like I think it's like about like like as like a size of a of like a peanut, and you have to like stick it into the back of of that new 3DS XL. So I think now we should be good. And let's head down the elevator. And uh, I actually have Netflix on my 3DS, so I think what I'm going to probably do is like just move uh, that Netflix app over to my new 3DS XL and uh, watch some Netflix from there. Ah, uh, now we got ourselves bailed, but now the Safari Zone is now open. Sorry to catch you waiting, we finally opened up the Safari Zone. Do you know where it is? You know that the game inside the cavern is in San Luis City. Okay, so I think that's what we're going to do for the next time. Uh, so we're not going to even worry about doing Jasmine Gym right now. I think what we're going to do is uh, head on over to the Safari Zone, and then we'll make our way on over to uh, Jasper's place, because then we can just do a little bit of like some, some on-screen uh, grinding and whatnot uh, during that time while we're heading to the Safari Zone. So anyways, I don't forget to leave a comment, like, also subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, I guess uh, the comment question of the day um, would probably have to be... Hmm. Yes. What is your... Uh, well, well, I think I've already asked this question before, but uh, what is your favorite uh, fossil uh, in Pokemon? Let me know uh, in the comments down below. Do you guys like... Uh, uh, do you guys like the uh, the dome fossil, the helix fossil? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys then. And peace.